What's up, guys? Real quick, just wanted to, we went into Walmart. We have a case of this uh, coming um, in the mail, the 25th tens there. Just want to pick one of those up because I haven't seen one yet, just in case that case doesn't arrive uh, in time for this weekend. And then I have four Evolving Skies. Found these at the uh, very back of Walmart. Um, it's those MJ Holdings things, so those are typically not a great investment, but um, you can't. It's really hard to find Evolving Skies, uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, that'll be fun to open up those and uh, we'll see you this weekend. What is up YouTube? It's going to be an awesome day today. We have some great uh, content for you today. Um, we have our, I think this is week 10. Uh, this will be the uh, third to last box of Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. We're going to get started with that. We've got four uh, Evolving Skies blisters here. Something kind of neat from uh, that we picked up uh, from Walmart the other day. Um, as you'll probably see at the beginning of the video, if I remember to insert it. And then uh, we do have a case of the 25th tens here um, coming in. Uh, it should be in any days. That'll probably be maybe next weekend uh, that we open some of that. But um, uh, so we, we picked up one at Walmart just because they, you know, they did have several. So um, the, the Rainbow Dragon there, possibly Cyber Dragon maybe for me. Um, but Rainbow Dragon, uh, Stardust Dragon. Uh, in the black rose, their Stardust. Uh, those are the big three. Uh, I've always, that's just kind of what I call them. Um, those are going to be the ones that I'm looking for today. Um, so, in terms of these Starlight, uh, that, you know, the promos that they come with and whatnot. So, but before we do that, guys, we're gonna get into this uh, 10th week of Battle of the Legend Monsters Revenge. Um, see what we get here. Again, we are looking for the Starlight pulls here, guys. Starlight. Um, like I said, we're winding down, so I'm getting a little bit uh, not nervous necessarily, uh, but uh, it would not be fun <laughs> if this is a. Um, let me mix these up a little bit. It would not be fun if this was a, a just a one Starlight box. So, or one Starlight case, as you guys know. Uh, roughly 12 weeks ago, I bought an entire case of, of Monstrous Revenge. So um, we'll see kind of what we get here. Um, just kind of go through go through these and see if we can't get a starlight pull. Um, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, I know I am. Um, kind of lost my voice yesterday. Uh, went down to Clemson. Watched a football game down there. That was a lot of fun. Um, big time Clemson fan for college. I actually went to Clemson. There's a volcanic shell. We'll set that aside. Um, Synchro Zone, Black Wing, Vistule Ball Drake. Um, so anyway, big time Clemson guy. Lost my voice. We've not been great this year. Uh, so uh, anyway, that was that was a lot of fun. Mysterion, uh, it's not going to do it. 72 Shogi Rook. We'll see what we got here. I'm, I'm anxious to see uh, if we can get anything neat out of the evolving skies. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys, uh, you know, how familiar you are with Pokemon, uh, but the the evolving skies. There's Dragon, uh, Dr Dark Magician, Knight of the Dragon Magic. Pretty nice. Um, not sure how, how familiar you guys are with that, uh, but um, evolving skies is kind of difficult to find now. And if you like, even if you look up a booster box on say eBay, you're going to be talking $400, $500. There's a news giant, Caddy Corn and the Baby Spider. Four or $500, that's a lot. So a little bit too much for my taste in terms of a, a um, booster box. The only one that I've considered that's around that price is, um, oh, what is it? It's, it's the one you get the Black Rose from. Uh, the several of the variants, you know, the ultimate rare ghost rare, which we do have a few of those. Um, but it's leaving me at this time. I guess it was in a, a 5D's booster box, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pretty cool booster box. Really, really enjoy that. Oh, a golden rule, buff a pawn, math make equation. I'm getting really nervous with these guys. Um, it seems like each of these, each of these booster boxes, the pull rates are supposed to be like ridiculous. Uh, in, in comparison to pull rates before Triage Master. So it's been, I've really, honestly, been uh, wondering where these 25th Starlights are out of this out of this case. Again, this is the third to last box. So um, it's a little odd that we have not seen. Oh, an IP, 
that we have not seen another Starlight since the x -Docs Hydra Starlight that we pulled in week two. And that was one of the weeks that took the, the most time uh, to set up uh, with the way that we did everything. There's Yu-Gi-Oh! Punk, Amazing Dragon, Viper's Grudge, nothing there. Uh, and I do have a few things that I've got in the mail, guys, that I've, that I've ordered to pad up some of these videos. Um, so depending on how these pulls go today, we may add another thing in the opening here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, like I said, being able to add some Pokemon in is a lot of fun. Changes things up a little bit. Um, and kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I try not to look anything up uh, pri uh, prior to openings. A little Book of Eclipse there, Black Mamba. Um, so I'm completely, you know, surprised. And uh, which is more fun. It's more fun to find or to see what kind of pulls that you get. Um, so I will say this, uh, and I say, I feel like I say it every time I open these packs. Thunder Discharge, Super Poly, Ghost Lancer. Um, the, I don't know if it's quality control, who, you know, the thinness of these Monstrous Revenge packs um, it's, it's really, really, really easy to tear them, uh, in which you have to take forever to open it, if that makes sense. So like tearing a corner prematurely, a little rainbow illusion there, Caddy Corn and Mia. Um, so taking your time, even sometimes when you take your time, but see how slowly I've got to make sure I pull these back. Um, they're very, very thin. So it's like that, like that corner right there. Very, very easy. Uh, to open them, um, Rogue Shaman, oh, Ogre Dance. Very easy to open them in such a way that it makes it difficult. Um, so anyway, like I said, uh, there's a lot that um, I've really enjoyed about the, the Pokemon packs. Um, for the most part, I feel like they're a little, not I wouldn't say easier to open, but uh, it's, it's much better. I think it protects the cards a little bit better. Um, here we go. Sprite Smashers, Ghost Sleeper, Shadows Light, second Shadows Light of the opening today. Um, look at, looking forward to getting into this tin. See how that goes. Trust me, guys, there have been also weeks that I have thought, man, you know what? Let's just open the remaining boxes um, of this 12-week period and just do it all in one video. But, you know, again, I wanted to, to ooh, Rite of Aramisir, nice pull there. Um, I wanted to, you know, draw this out, like I said, in the first place. Just give it a little bit of anticipation each week because you don't know. You don't know if the Starlight's going to be pulled. I don't know if there's going to be one in these next few packs. We're going to find out. Sprite Carrot, Math Max Sigma, oh, Synchro Zone. Puppet Rook and Numbers Last. Hope. I will say, though, if I do get another case of a set ever, uh, definitely we'll probably do a case opening um, or part of the case opening. I won't draw it out as much as it was just an idea I had. Um, again, with the, the financial means that I have for this at the moment. Um, <clears throat> there's a very interesting uh, YouTuber, um, Cool Trainer Ryan. He is all Pokemon, Rock Decoder there. Um, all Pokemon. He has a massive collection. Uh, Poker Rev has several videos with him. His videos are very interesting, to say the least. Um, but he, I, my question about his channel is how in the world can, oh, an armed Neos, Starlight Rare, boom, 25th anniversary. Oh my goodness, there it is, guys. There it is, finally, goodness gracious. And one of the better hits for a Starlight, in my opinion, Again, it's all about the artwork for us here on the Zeus channel. And there we go. Let me, let me, uh, it's kind of hard to see the, these pack or these um, sleeves don't really show very well. Let me pull this out a little bit. Look at this, guys. Oh my. Armed Neos 25th Starlight. There we go, baby. 25th Starlight, second Starlight of the case. That is a beautiful one to get. Oh, man. See if I can get it in this, uh, this. There we go, guys. Look at that. Boom. 25th Starlight with on the fourth to last pack of this third to last booster box. 
we finally hit another Starlight, and it is a banger. Armed Neos, man. We will take that all day. There's another Volcanic Shell. Set that aside. Oh, now we're starting to get a little... Oh, Soul Synchron, another big hit there. Um, we're starting to get a little momentum in this box. There's been a couple of great pulls from it, uh, specifically on this box. Uh-oh. But that right there, guys, Armed Neos. Um, anyways, Cool Trainer Ryan, uh, I was, as I was saying before that monster hit, um, he has so much product. He's got a bunch of seal product. Um, he has a massive collection. Um, he's kind of a goofy guy. Uh, but my question, did, did he hit the lottery? How much, how can he afford Photon Jumper there? Um, how can he afford all the, the, the product he's got? Um, and there's a lot of really, really old stuff. Uh, again, um, Poker Rev, there's several videos that he's got where he's kind of like checking out the collection, Cool Trainer Ryan's collection. So anyway, all right, next, we are gonna get into this 25th quarter century uh, 10, guys. And um, I've not opened these yet. Uh, so I'm very excited to see. I have kept, uh, resisted the urge, I should say, to to watch videos on them. I do not know what kind of packs are in, the, in them. I don't know what the pulls are. I do obviously know that there are promos. So let's see if we can get one of the big three for the promo. Um, you're gonna find out with me here. Oh, uh, let's see, that is not even a card I recognize there, guys. Enlightenment Paladin. Enlightenment Paladin, interesting. So can we get this out? So these are, this would be kind of cool because again, you know, you, you get a guaranteed 25th Starlight out of uh, these these booster tins or these tins. I, said, I don't know if booster tins is the right way to put it, but that, it's a really really cool thing that they're doing. Um, that's that's really neat artwork though. Enlightenment Paladin. Um, it's not one I recognize <laughs> though. I don't know. This may be a brand new card, in which case that would be cool. Um, or it may not be. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, guys. But hey, look right there. Two starlights in one video oh look at these wow 25th anniversary tins dueling heroes mega packs so these are indeed mega packs which i'm assuming that's you know going to be the case with any of the tins um like i mentioned before i did reach out to sassy to make sure that the uh the case of those is on its way for you guys but let's see what's in here guys uh mega pack 25th anniversary 10 dueling heroes we're just going to open these up as they come and see what we have. So we have a Supreme Sea Mare, Ice Jade Erosion, Cucumber Horse, Black Feather Warwind, Scare Claw Sclash. Sclash. I thought that was a misprint. Scare Claw Sclash. There, um, Theron Empress Elysia. We have DDD Headhunt 3D. The Weather Painter Moonbow. Look at that. Look at that um, artwork there. Well, that's a beautiful card. Put that aside. We have a Scare Claw Arrival. Maybe Scareclaw is a type that's an ultra rare there. We have another ultra rare um, Smorg Bird of Perfection. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful card there. And a Magic Karibo for our secret rare. Oh, there's another one. Ariana, the Labyrinth Servant. Wow. Okay. So two, hang on. Two prismatic secret rares. Magic Karibo. For those of you who are Dark Magician fans and Ariana, the Labyrinth Servant. Um, I'll have to look up later if these are any good. Uh, but anyways, beautiful. And then the last few cards here, Scareclaw Decline, Amazon, a Silver Sword Master, Light Law Medium, Labromancer, Doom Broker, a Perfect Sync, a Yun, and Seamal, Seamal Archfiends. May have said that incorrect, but we're getting there. All right, first, great first pack. Um, love the artwork on that Ariana card, Magic Rebo. Always, always cool to pull something like that. Um, and again, uh, I'm going to be interested to see kind of what we can get out of these things, guys. Look at this card right here. Willow, founder of the Dredge, Dredge Dragons. Beautiful looking card there. Scareclaw Acro, Terrors in the Hidden City, Breath of Resurrection, Amazonas Secret Arts, Amazonas Golden Whip Master, Dogmatic Macabre, if I said that right, Natura Mole Cricket as a uh, super... A Sham, what is this? Shamisen Samsara Sorrow Cat. Very interesting card there. Beautiful card. Ooh, Dictator of D. Ultra rare. That's a beautiful looking card there. And our first uh, prismatic uh, secret is Black Winged Sudri the Phantom Glimmer. 
and a DDD Divisor King Deuce Machine Machine X. I don't know. Machine X. Machine X. I, I want to say machine, but I don't know. Machine X. Very cool. Very cool cards there, guys. Put those aside there. And then Starlet Papillon, uh, Dinomorphia Shell, Scareclaw Astra, Dinomorphia Sonic, Terrors of the Overroot, and Runic Smiting Storm. Okay. And then our final uh, 25th pack of the opening today. And then we'll get into those Evolving Skies blisters for today. And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with these pulls, guys. I think we'll uh, hold off the other product I've got for some other videos. Again, we're gonna maintain that keep some cool videos coming we have digit jamming we have double dust tornado twins uh Melfly wally uh preta plant um us <laughs> ursartic mary M melfi's clear new world as the rare ice jade oh man agerine maybe ice jade agerine is the super we have alba lenatus the Abyss Dragon, beautiful card there. Runic Freezing Curses. And then we have Exo Sister Sophia. And what's the other? Uh, Therion Discoliseum. Okay, interesting. So, again, guys, I'm going to have to look up some of these. Um, loving the artwork, though, in the set. Beautiful looking cards. The quality on these is very, very nice. I have noticed the quality is very, very nice of these. We'll put those aside. Final uh, Dynamorphia Shell, Labor of Mancer, Agent, uh, Draco Beck, DDD Rebel King, Perfect, Sink, and Scare Claw. All right. Very, very nice. Got some cool pulls there. So we'll move these aside. And then to finish the video off, guys, we do, we've gotten, it's been a banger of a video so far. We have two Starlights, Arm Neo Starlight. Was not expecting to pull one of those. You always expect to pull like, maybe like a Starlight that you're like super hype about, but um, Arm Neos, man, Starlight, that is amazing. Love that. I actually contemplated purchasing that. So uh, anyways, included one booster pack and five cards, guaranteed one foil card, and this is MJ Holding Company, so you can guarantee that the cards that are in this thing are probably crap. So. From what I've seen in videos before, um, these there it's the the hollow quote unquote is probably not going to be anything crazy, um, and then the you know what you're really going for is the pack, so the evolving skies here. All right, so we have a dry flume, Ralts, Quillfish. Oh, sorry guys, Quillfish again, and a more Peco. Don't know what this set is from. Oh, this is a promo. This is a Black Star promo Morpeco regular hollow, um, which I'm assuming is nothing. I, I'm not sure. Okay, so there are 10 cards in these Evolving Skies pack. Um, this is a super cool looking set. I've never opened this, so I, I don't know where the code card is going to be. It's gonna be interesting to find this out here with you guys. Um, so let's see. All right, looks like the code card Okay, it's gonna be in the back, so I was doing it right. All right, so throw that down, code card here. Boom, for those of you guys who are interested in that. All right, we have a uh, Dino, Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Glossifleur, Fletchling. We have a Reverse Rubber Gloves Trainer, and then we have a Non-Hollow Melotic, Melotic, Energy, Pry Roar, and a Dream Ball. Oh, sorry, and Stormy Mountains. So nothing there um, in that first pack. Put those aside. All right, second blister. Again, a uh, little Umbreon um, art action there. Okay, again, we'll pull out our five cards. Probably nothing crazy. Hide those there. Three boost, or, uh, booster packs to go. All right, here we go. Let's see, um, Chichino, Chichino, Boozwell, Howlucha, Electabuzz, a reverse Radiant Eevee from Pokemon Go. That's a pretty cool card. We'll sleeve that guy. Love some Eevee. It's a reverse, a little Radiant. I don't know what Radiant, the Radiant is, but that's kind of neat. 
put that aside. All right, Evolving Skies, pack numero dos. Out to four. All right, guys, let's see if we can get a hit here. Something bigger than a, well, actually, I guess because you're not guaranteed a hollow, a, a hollow or better. Boom, throw that aside. We have a Glossifleur again. Slaykoth, Slaykoth, Emolga. Uh, let's see, Carvana, Bergmite, Reverse, Hair Deer, another Maleptic, Swoobat, Lombre, and I, Lucky Ice Pop. There you go. All right, nothing, 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 nothing. And again, these are random packs, guys. So, you know, although MJ Holdings is not great, they, you know, they can't like screw with the packs. Now, I don't know, um, like weighing wise, if they can weigh stuff out of these. That is a, a you know something to consider, um, but I don't know. I don't know if evolving skies. I don't know if you can even weigh Pokemon cards. It's not a thing I'm aware of. Like uh, you, know, you go shoulder. We have a Voltorb, Pan Sage, um, Q Fant. Oh, and a Gardevoir V. I know V cards like aren't super crazy, but I'll take that. I mean that's <laughs> that's better than just a regular Hollow. So that's kind of cool. Um, KMJ Holdings. Probably not worth anything, but still, I mean, shoot, come on. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice there, pretty nice. Two packs to go. Oh my gosh, here we go again, like last week, where I was having trouble opening the packs. I was talking about, I'm just literally talking junk about how the Yu-Gi-Oh packs are so easy to open, and these may be just a little bit too difficult to open. So this, can, can the, uh, the Rayquaza artwork there bring us a little luck? All right, um, Rajan Rolla, Rufflet, Dwe Dwebble, Dwebble, Nicket, Cry on the Loggle Loggle, yeah, Digging Gloves, ooh, and a Suicune V, it's just a V, but look at that, guys, wow. Oh, there's an energy behind it. Beautiful artwork. Again, guys, we're here for the artwork. Look at that, Suicune V. Again, nothing crazy, but I'm gonna take it, man. It's a V. It's better than, it's not guaranteed. So, you know, we'll, we'll take that and shoot. I don't know, Evolving Skies. Maybe maybe pulling Vs from Evolving Skies is a big deal. I don't know. Your boy Zeus has no clue. All right, now, I want you to know, look at this here. So this is the rare, or the hollow, quote unquote. Look at that edge. Holy moly, man, hope this is anything crazy. That's, that, that'd be terrible. Let's just get into it. Rowlet. It's a Rowlet Hollow. Nothing crazy there. All right, guys. Last pack of the video. It's been a lot of fun today. Um, if you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Um, wow, that pack was super easy to open. Wow. Okay. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to comment down below. I just showed the code. Now, hey, that's not, no, that's not cool. So look right here. I pulled it out just like this. That was in there backwards. Not my fault. For you Pokemon enthusiasts, I may have messed it up. I may not have. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, comment down below, guys. I appreciate all the support. Um, this is a lot of fun. This channel is trying to grow. A mole gun, a reverse, and a shift try. Nothing crazy there. But anyways, and also join the Discord, guys. The Discord is a lot of fun. We have chats in there, talk about polls. Um, and anyway, um, you know, great, great time there. And uh, yeah, so we got some crazy polls. But most of all today, guys, we got our second uh 25th starlight out of our um case there guys so we have two boxes left two weeks left cannot wait to share that with you guys it's gonna be a lot of fun have a great day comment like subscribe to the channel and i will see you later zeus out